when you look at the quality itself, dairy calves has they have a, they can produce a very high quality beef. However, there is a lack in yield, so uh, they usually have greater bone to muscle ratio, greater organs. What we've observed in some research that we've done uh, is that by crossing beef with dairy, we we actually overcome some of those challenges. About 16% of the total beef is produced from fed cattle uh, that comes from the dairy industry, mostly Holstein steers. We see that now if, if we can enhance the production from that animal, it can create a substantial uh, increase in the total beef production in the, in the whole country. And when we look about sustainability and we take the carbon that a dairy cow is eating, most of those go to the meal production. So the beef animal that comes from that dairy cow, we say that's a really uh, sustainable animal because most of that feed uh, that's being used to the dairy cow is going to the dairy industry. So for the beef industry, it's a very good opportunity to explore uh, this market on, on those animals as well. Yeah, one of the the big challenge in doing research with, with dairy crosses or beef on dairy or straight hostings, it takes a lot of time and it takes money too. So that's that's a challenge. Another thing that we have to understand is how much the the place where the research is conducted has an effect on the on the outcomes. So some of the research that we've done in California, the results are a little different than research that are done in the high plains or, or in the Midwest or other places of the country. So I think one of the biggest questions now is trying to understand what are the best genetic groups, like best breeds and also the best bulls that is going to match what we have in the dairy industry right now and uh, how to better manage those calves, starting from day one to the feedlot phase. I think there is a lot of research opportunities there uh, we need a lot of data, so it's good to see that a lot of universities are doing research in this field. And we at Agnex, our ho hope is like, if we can look a couple of years from now, if we have answers for those questions in management and genetics, I think we'll be successful. So uh, my goal is to, to have a good understanding a couple of years from now in, in how to better manage and how to better make this cross uh, so it can help that both industries, the dairy and also the beef, beef industry.